Today's weather is sponsored by Expressway, Car Wash, Lube, and Deli, with two locations in Paducah, Kentucky. Good morning, everybody. It is November 8, 2016, Election Day for America. Let's take a look at national radar. We see a band of showers, maybe even a few rumbles of thunder, anywhere from Texas up into our area and then up into the Great Lakes, Michigan. You can see this band here. Now we need the rain. We've got burn bans in effect for much of the area. Kentucky is especially hard hit by this drought. So if you have to burn any brush, probably be a better idea just to wait on that. We're going to zoom in here and take a look at the Paducah, Kentucky National Weather Service radar zone. And we see scattered showers. Now, most of this precipitation is very light. Many areas picking up only a trace of rainfall, a few areas a tenth of an inch or so. Not much, not nearly enough. We need several inches of rainfall to break the drought. That's not in the cards just yet. And the long-range forecast, not in the cards there either, unfortunately. Let's zoom in just a little bit more. This is the Paducah, Kentucky National Weather Service local radar, and we see this band of showers pushing off to the east. A few more showers back here in Missouri and Illinois. That will be the case today. A lot of clouds, spotty showers, 20-30% chances for showers throughout the day. And as we move into the evening hours, the showers will taper, taper off and some clearing later tonight. Might have some frost on Thursday morning as temperatures dip into the 30s. Also be monitoring Friday night and Saturday night, especially Saturday night, for frost chances. We should be back down into the 30s. I don't think at this point we're looking at a freeze, 32 degrees or lower. I think we're looking at frost conditions. Wanted to note that the latest date that the Paducah, Kentucky National Weather Service office has recorded a freezing temperature at 32 degrees or below is actually November 13th. We may beat that this year. Let's take a quick look at the GFS forecast, and this will take us out to day 16. Unfortunately, I'm not currently seeing a lot of rain in the forecast. I'm afraid our drought's growing to grow worse before it gets any better. We move forward in time, and this is the disturbance moving through our area this morning and this afternoon. Any light rain showers will move on off to the east later this evening and tonight will clear out a little bit. We see this big area of high pressure. Now, we've had several of these this year. 1031 millibars I should say we've had several of these during the fall months this year and that may be a sign for winter we keep having these big high pressures dip in our area that could mean a lot of uh, cold weather below normal temperatures as we move into December January February long rains forecasting a bit of a gamble more like Vegas a little bit of skill and a lot of luck there are some indications we might have a colder than normal winter but I wouldn't put too much stock in any of that just yet. Most of our winter weather comes down to about four or five events in the exact track of an area of low pressure. No real way to forecast that, unfortunately. We move forward in time. We see that high building into our area. I'll stop here on Thursday morning. High pressure over Arkansas and Kentucky. Now that should calm our winds and we might have some frost by Thursday morning. We'll keep an eye on that. Temperatures dipping down into the 30s. We rebound into the 60s on a Friday and then a little bit cooler as another cold front moves through the area on Saturday. Highs on Saturday might remain in the 50s going to feel pretty chilly after our recent warm weather. We look off to the north and get another big area of high pressure. Again, if this were to keep up in the winter, then we're going to be mighty cold. 1033 millibars over Iowa on Friday night and Saturday morning, and that will move into our area by Sunday morning, and that could spell some frost with temperatures again dipping down into the middle or upper 30s by Sunday morning. We'll keep an eye on that keep moving forward in time and we're not seeing any green on the map and unfortunately that means dry weather to continue we'll move into next week tuesday wednesday uh, thursday not a lot going on another high pressure area dives down from the north we move into november 18th then we move into november 19th november 20th gfs picking up on a weak system here we just keep moving forward 21st 22nd we're moving into thanksgiving Still no significant rainfall, unfortunately. So, again, it looks like this drought will actually worsen over the coming weeks. Don't see a major pattern shift yet. I've been watching the third and fourth week of November. Maybe we'll have some colder weather, but I'm not seeing a pattern shift where we start tapping into the warm Gulf of Mexico waters well above normal temperatures down here. If we can ever get some storms to move through here, tap into that. 
we might have some heavier rain and or snow as we move into December. But right now, drought conditions will grow worse as we move later into November.